so hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do like a sit down a bath and body work sit down because i want to give like an in-depth review of the products we got in the june uh semi-annual sale or was it the annual sale yeah so this is going to be quite a long video so bear with me if you want to find out like the details or what i think about the sense that we got which is basically just a section of the majority of what uh, my clients and i got for the sale if that's what you're interested in just like sit back and enjoy the video if you're new to my channel welcome my name is sharon i do videos like this and many other different types of videos so please do subscribe please subscribe hit that subscribe button and i think i won't talk too much and uh, let me sit down and let's begin the video quick random update milo just turned nine like a few days ago so he's nine months old if you watched his previous video he was such a baby and now he's a full-on adult so how this is going to work i'm going to kind of categorize the sense in terms of um design and i'm going to talk about what i think uh the out the outlook of the bottle the scent itself and what i think versus what the ingredients uh kind of give me like what i get versus what the ingredients give me and yeah so at the end of the video i'm gonna tell you my top three i'm just gonna do three because this is just these are just nine cents so it's only fair if i just do my, my top three out of the nine and yeah so we're gonna begin with bahamas passion fruits first of all with the outlook like the design itself i, I feel like it's a uh, nice an interesting design but before we even get to the ingredients of the scent itself or how it smells like i feel like this is one of the scents this and i'm i'm guessing endless weekend are two of the scents which really threw me off because like what they say the ingredients contain is not what i kind of pick up on because the ingredients on this the fragrance notes are passion fruit pineapple leaves and banana flower so let's just go ahead by the way in some of them i i kind of sprayed it on the top of the lid and so now this is like the aftermath of it resting after a while like the first thing i kind of get i get a hint of banana banana leaves let's let's so to speak It makes me, it reminds me of an old person, like an old mature person, like someone who's been working in a specific place for like a long time and has maintained the same perfume. This kind of makes me feel like that, like there's nothing sweet about it. It's not something I'd, I'd be particularly drawn to because personally I love sweet scents, sweet, um, woodsy a bit of musky fruity you know things that can attract bees are what i would be drawn more to but this is just mm -mm. for me this is this this was not i didn't i didn't personally like the scent i'm not trying to throw shade because i'm sure there are people out there who really really like the scent but for me no for me this didn't this this didn't do it for me so so next we have Endless Weekend. This scent is one which could easily be a hit or miss depending on what you like, what scent notes you like. It's just one that can easily throw you off to be quite honest. Like the fragrance notes are Summer Mandarin, Blue Coconut Water and Vanilla Sandalwood. After some time, you can pick up on the vanilla on this scent, but it will take such a long time before you pick up on it, because I can't really tell you how every other scent 
like summer mandarin i don't know how mandarin smells like blue coconut water i am not picking on any coconut to be quite honest on this one i can't even tell you what i'd categorize it as because it 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 smells fresh but fresh with like a hint of um confusion i can't put my finger on what it's i can't even get close to describing what this is like it's not sweet it's not fruity it's not woodsy i can't really say it's woodsy although it's it does have sandalwood it's not musky it's just fresh with confusion i cannot describe it to be quite honest i really can't describe it but it's something that would border a perfume in a sense like it's something you would wear and it will last you the whole day because it is a very very strong scent it is very very strong like the first whiff will really hit you and that smell will kind of linger on your nose if you smell it like like a deep inhale of it so next is pink tie-dye i remember uh in my description on instagram i said it really smells like apples i've had three two other people who've actually three i have three i've had three people spell this and they've just said it's purely entirely apples and for me the perfect description would be like if you bite into a red apple and then you give it time it starts browning 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 it that browning that is what that that's that is literally what this smells like and the uh, fragrance notes are Pink Lady Apple, Water Lotus, and Cotton Blossom. I'm just getting apples. I don't even have to smell it. I know I remember this. This is just purely apples. But this, I would both categorize it as fresh and fruity. Of course, because of the apples, it's, it's fruity. But it kind of has like a hint of freshness at the back of... This is just a note I pick up on, which kind of gives me freshness. It's a very nice scent. I like it. I really like it it's it I'd buy this I would personally buy this so next we have this scent champagne sprinkles this scent is one of my favorite out of this whole batch not gonna lie because it's just delicious it kind of borders uh, between warm vanilla sugar and um, Thing like what strawberry pound cake my, might smell like I, I i haven't smelled strawberry pound cake but it's just so delicious it smells like a bakery it smells like sweets it smells like um like what uh what's this cake called like what a sponge cake would smell like it smells like what a black forest would taste like mm, 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 mm. The scent notes are sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. This is very, very delicious. This would probably be at the top of my list because I love savory, sweet scents. So if you're one who loves sweet scents, this is just a scent for you. This is so delicious. So next, we're going to do this black cherry mallow, and this is like a new packaging. This is even much more better than Dark Kiss in my opinion i personally don't like that case no lie but this this is just so beautiful like if you don't like sweet if you don't like fruity if you don't like floral you just want to smell like something but you can't describe it but it's it's just you know good this this would be the perfect thing for you and it's uh the fragrance notes are dark cherry black raspberry strength and power in this scent kind of gives me black excess vibes if you know black excess the perfume by paco Raban, this kind of gives me the same almost the same effect like it's so strong like it's kind of like for a bold strong person mm. Mm -mm. okay so now we're into the i can't remember what, what, what the name of this collection is but I'm missing cherry limeade, and cherry limeade just smells like um, cherry limeade smells uh, smells like what art cafe um, lemonade smells like, like what the syrup smells like. That's what I feel like it smells like. And I had my friends smell it, and they were like, one said it smells like how when you boil 
if maybe you're trying to make lemon water or, or lemon tea, you boil lemon, not lemon, lime. You boil lime and how the skin of the lime smells like it was what is it's literally exactly what cherry lime it smells like. It doesn't smell like cherries. It's just a really bold, fresh lemon scent. That that is just as far as I can describe it. And what gets close to it is this watermelon limeade. And this smells exactly like pin pop. This smells like pin pop. Like the pin pops we used to eat when we were younger, like the green one. This smells exactly like it. Mm -hmm. It's sweet yet uh, savory yet. Um, what it kind of the first thing that came to mind when I smelled this is like uh, a sweet and sour gummy bear, which is green, and and like with hints, literally just like a watermelon, green and a bit of red, with like some salt and sugar at the top. This is what that smells like. I mean, it's not bad. Yep, pin pop. The first base scent of it that you get is pin pop. I can smell the watermelon from a very, 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 very far distance. But it's just pin pop. I'd categorize it as a fresh scent because I can't really get much hints on sweetness. And the fragrance notes are watermelon ice, sparkling water, and sugared lemon. So you see, it's just lemon. It smells like lemon on sugar or lemon and sugar. It's like a lemon and honey tea, but the honey has been like pinched a bit. Like it's not that much honey. It's more of the lemon than the honey. So that's the type of scent you're kind of into. This I think would be okay. Next we have Mango Mai Tai. This scent is, uh, smells exactly like mangoes, but mangoes from Mombasa, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. mm, mm -mm. Mangoes from Mombasa. Do you know like those shapeless mangoes? Not this, not this apple mangoes that are green with a hint of red. And no, 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 no. This smells like those yellow, those yellow ones from either Ukambani or Mombasa. It smells exactly like that. Like the notes are mango nectar, sun kissed guava, and sugar cane. Nothing. Just pure, pure mango. And then it also kind of gives me like vibes of artificial mango. Also, I remember in the previous video when I filmed it, I, I likened it to a cherry. Like when you buy a cherry, and you suck off the color and the flavors and everything you remain with the dried mango that is what whatever that tastes like is what this smells like if that makes any sense it's just pure mangoes like if you just want to smell like mango for me it doesn't it's not like the 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 natural mango smell it's like an artificial mango smell or taste like how you'd um buy mango vanilla as i mean sorry mango essence for baking I'm assuming it exists this is what that smells like so if you're really into mangoes next is strawberry soda so the notes here are fresh strawberries bubbly sel seltzer and crushed ice you know what this reminds me of Mr. Berry do you remember that chewing gum we used to buy for one bob Mr. Berry. This reminds me of Mr. Berry. Completely. Oh my god, yes. I would buy this. I would definitely buy this. And I would buy this as a set. No, not gonna lie. I'm kind of trying, trying to um, compare it to my shower gel, which I have, and it's strawberry flavored by Hobby. And they have a similarity, so I can imagine like if you layer it on, if you have like a whole set of this maybe, or like different strawberry products, and then you have this on, you would smell delicious. 
wow i'm honestly just getting mr berry vibes like when you went how it smells when it's fresh out of the wrapper and how it smells when you first chew it or how your mouth or your breath in general how it smells after like chewing one or two or a few pieces of gum of mr berry this is exactly how it smells like and it's nice <laughs> lastly my almost uh favorite scent ever since the last batch because i'm not personally into coconut scents but this smells really really good fresh coconut colada it's a it's a perfect dupe for pink coconut calypso so if you already have pink coconut calypso you shouldn't get this i don't i, I wouldn't really advise it's it they smell almost the same but if you're one who's collecting coconut scents this is a perfect beautiful scent it's a fresh scent it's coconutty it's sweet it's delicious it's just all that encompassed in one oh this smells so good my number one scent out of all this nine cents is black cherry mallow made mainly because of its strength of its muskiness and of its almost similarities to black excess to some extent and i love dark scents actually no i don't like dark scents this surprised me so much that I said maybe in the next one I'll kind of delve more into the dark scents because I'm usually just swinging around the sweet scents but this really surprised me. And my second favorite scent is champagne sprinkles because of how yummy, delicious, bakery like sweet like I feel like when you have this on people will devour you like you know people just want to eat you because you're kind of like yummy and I love this scent honestly this is a very, very nice very nice very very nice since I already have a coconut scent which is almost similar to this I won't really be putting this as the runners-up for number three but instead I'm gonna put strawberry soda not gonna lie this is not something I would have said like a few days ago but i'm gonna put strawberry soda it was either strawberry soda or pink tie-dye but pink tie-dye has this uh note that besides the apple which is kind of throwing me off a little bit so that's why i'd lean more towards the strawberry soda because i really like sweet scents so yeah so we have come to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed that short i hope it's short i just hope it's not too long but i hope you enjoyed that video let me know what you think or if you have this sense or if you're looking forward to getting your sense tell me what what you think once you get them and compare them to what i've reviewed and tell me what you personally think or how you feel about them and yeah I already have the December um, form put up on my profile but I'm still yet to um, tweak it a little bit so it might keep changing once in a while until probably November so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in my next one. Bye.